what's up YouTube? In this problem, we're going to prove that the empty set is a subset of every set. Um, so some people would say this is vacuously true, and those people would be 100% correct, okay? So you could say it's vacuously true, you can just accept it. Um, I just wanted to give you a proof of it in a different way so that um, it helps you maybe in understanding. So let's, let's go ahead and prove it. So proof. So to prove this, uh, we'll, we'll use a contradiction. So suppose that it's false. So suppose that the empty set is not a subset of A, right? That means that, um, what, what does this mean? Well, for the empty set to be a subset of A, that means every, every element in the empty set is also an A. So if it's not a subset, so this means that there is an element in the empty set, right, that is not an A. So there exists an X in the empty set such that X is not in A. Right, again, the empty set being a subset of A means that all of the elements in the empty set are also inside A. So if it's not a subset, there has to be at least one element in the empty set that's in the empty set, but it's not an A. So we suppose it wasn't a subset, and this is what we write down. And this is where the proof ends, right? We're saying there's an element in the empty set. So note, for us to say there's an element in the empty set is absurd. So we have a contradiction, right? a contradiction. Thus, the empty set must be a subset of A. So the empty set is a subset of every set. This is the kind of thing um, you just take for granted. Sometimes people question these things. Um, now you can, you can just stop questioning it because there's the proof. That's it. True mathematics. Take care.